Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Hello. Welcome. To Welcome to Company of Heroes 2. We have a 2v2. I recently did a 1v1 last night where I ranted about Co2 not working with my sound card. Well, I fixed it. Hooray. And it wasn't restarting my computer and plugging it, in, you know, plugging it out and in again. It was, it was reinstalling drivers, which is like the number three. Have you tried reinstalling drivers? So, yes, I fixed it. That's like, that's still like, like, platinum level friggin' computer genius stuff though. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't get like, what- like, yeah, most, most people are, um... Most people, uh... Are all about the turn it off and on again thing now. Thank you, IT crowd, we really appreciate that. It's, uh, probably saved us a lot of time. Yeah, reinstalling drivers, that's some, that's some thinking boy stuff. I remember back when I was a, a big lad noob and Callum used to fix all my computer problems. <laughs> Vermin Slayer and Ko Cho Sko. Cho, very confusing. Uh, they're going to be our allies. They're on the uh, bottom side of Moscow Arts goes here. And the Axis, we're going to have Tomokaze as the Wehrmacht and his teammate. Your mum's pie is so hot right now as the Wehrmacht. I'm a little upset because it's moms and not mums. Mm, very so. disappointed. Imperialism yeah. intensifies. Yeah. I reckon we should hail Britannia and <laughs> teach those Americans what it is to, to English. Anyway, he went for... Um, he went for recon. Yeah, so, I don't know if these are pathfinders, so... These IR Pathfinders are like actually good in combat or not? Uh, right, better yeah now, right? Like yeah, yeah. Well, cause they you used mean, to be absolutely trash. Yeah, yeah, they had better this now. OP as hell More ability. Yeah. Whereas in the original powers are really good. I guess they look pretty decent. So they must have reworked them at some point. Yeah. Uh, else, you know, I'm sure we wouldn't see him go for that one. I do remember early. reading about it, so I can't remember exactly like how they did it. I think they like, I think it was something along the lines of like they don't one shot your entire squad one and a hundred times anymore. They just do a bit more consistent damage. Not exactly what it was though. Always. Seems as though things haven't changed <laughs> though and we have uh... It's been a long time since I've played on Moscow outskirts and yet church control seems to be fairly important. Okay, look at this big flank. Yeah, I love a good flank. Italian just reported Pathfinders ready for action. You're really good to play both the Pathfinders and the MG refacing constantly. Oh, Grenadiers go down to the Rifleman. Nasty. Pretty big loss this early in the game. Yeah, this Pioneer's actually getting shredded, so these these Pathfinders went very well for themselves. Yeah, even the Conscript Flank just, just they end up going for a cutoff. Well, not really a cutoff here, they're going for a deep cap. Um, but they do enable the, the Pathfinders to find a nice engagement, and potentially we're going to wipe onto the Pyos here. Depends if the Cons are going to be chasing that one down. Looks like they... No, I think they died. Yeah, the they pyos. died, man. Yeah. That's, oh. the, that's the last Pyo model right yeah, they, there. That's like max pyos. range on the con rifles. <laughs> Damn. Pretty good RNG for the allies. Got two max range wipes. It's a nice start. Now, at least losing the the Pioneers isn't as costly as what it used to be. No, because, it's not, yeah. because you can just get those pigrens now from the headquarters. Um, it's not a uh, flamer needed map as well. So. Flamer required map. Flamer compulsory map. Well, engineers, what are they shooting at? Uh, yeah, Grens. I mean, they're just gonna get flanked. This should just be a massive oh. tree here from Kocho Sgo. I like the name. Should just be a massive tree. Should just bail oh, out. Oh, We got to fix that, lads. Probably shouldn't do that. It's probably not good. Um, so, uh, counter squad wipe using big skills. Good job, Tom Case. It's what you get for taking light cover. <laughs> How dare you! Well, anyway, that wipe gets them, um, a little bit on parity now. Still one wipe down. Uh, map control, they're pretty firmly... I guess pretty even now, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's even enough, so yeah. You don't generally gain a lot of map control with those big flanks. You just find favourable engagements. I think that's fine, so... Um, it was a late retreat. There was double fuel for a little moment there, but uh, M20 is on the field now. Very big map, very open, so it does well here. It's going to need to be a 2-2-2 to counter that. 
Oh, MG couldn't get in the house in time. No, it's gonna have to bail. So why end up working against our axes here? Just, just in case Verminsire didn't have enough recon with his recon support commander, he also now has recon from an N20. So, should be able to see the entire map. Doesn't go for the uh, the fuel point yet though, he wants to get the decap. Maybe send the echelon to go capture the fuel or... Oh, he's got Pathfinders there anyway to cap it. Or did he st Is that a German one that he stole? I have no idea. Oh, it's six man, so six it's... Man uh, must just be the Soviet one. He has gone for a tier two. Mm, so it would have been for that mortar. Uh oh, that's a bad spot for those Grens. Yeah, oh, no, it's Grins. probably a white. Uh, Whoa, the lucky nice. mortar shell though. Yeah, that's, that's going to be enough to uh, save the Grenadiers and have to retreat. Second mortar shell. Thankfully, you're not getting the wipe, and it seems as though Mum's Pies has bought enough time for the Pegrins to get rolling down to that garrison as well. It's a very nice play. I was wondering why I was delaying the, the Pyre retreat so much, but it ends up working out very nicely. Let's pull the MG forward again. Um, probably have to see a pack. Depending on what tech he decides to go for. Well, only with the 2 2 2, I really don't know, so yeah. They both went Pegrin, so yeah. the scout card's a bit late. Yeah. Nice work with that heavy cover from the tank trap. Jeez. Or maybe he'll just blow up the building with the Pathfinders. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, there, there's certainly a couple of them worth blowing up, and this is one you're just really gonna take. Um, it's the bottom team. You really recapture that one and, all, and hold it. And they have to charge through negative cover. Oh, the Pigrens, though. No retargeting. Did they get retargeted? No, no retarget on the Pigrens, so they crossed the negative cover successfully. Pythoners might, you know, if they stick around long enough to force the Grens off, but they do full uh, switch up. The MG inside this garrison is enough to throw off Vermin Slayer's Lieutenant. And we should have our uh, our access retaking this left hand side. Very nice play. Whoa, there's an M20 though, 1v1 in the Pigrens. Minimum range. It's a good fight. Should be fine. Um, bit of penetration, I suppose, when you stick a submachine gun up that close to anything, so... Oh, that was sick. Yeah. So the Pigrens wanted to get the, the decap and then retreat, but Vermin Slayer actually used the rapid tactics so he could capture that. Uh, and so by points. having the M20 capturing, he was preventing the Pigrens from neutralizing it. So they keep the fuel point for a little bit longer. M20 now goes to the top, and they capture pretty fast. Oh, nice. It also lasts quite some time as well. I don't think I can make those kind of flashy plays with my AX2 again. So. <laughs> yeah, well, unfortunately, Grenadiers have a Panzerfaust, so M20 can't do the same. Yeah, doesn't want to fight that one. Um, so it has already taken a bit of tube damage. Um, only want to risk the engine that far from home. It's got a fair way to retreat. Whoa, Grenadiers clown half track. Here we go. That's, uh, that's one way to counter a mortar. That'll work out nicely. Mortar's instantly forced off. It is a pack here from... Okay, so I don't know where that's going to be rolling to, and a pack here as well from your mum's pies. Oh, he's driving into the pack. This is a really good bait from the Grens. Oh, maybe he sees yeah, it. Yeah, oh, no, he does. Oh, you're right. He must have pretty good vision. Oh, was that... vision. The Pathfinders. Yeah, the yeah. Pathfinders gave him lots yeah. of sight, so that was pretty clever. Seemed like a well-positioned bait because it was a perfect engagement for the, uh, the clown car. Packs are going to be collapsing now. There are two of them. I'm going to get the M20 scouted the other one out, so that's good. That one will bail. Oh, this is sick. Yeah, this is probably a wipe. He didn't retreat the MG from the rear, so it could go down to the Stuart, if not the M, the half track. Yeah, it does recap get it. This. There's still four models on this uh, Command Engineer squad. And he can reinforce as well, so yeah, you can exactly. capture it and yeah, reinforce. Yeah, yeah. Even the Pathfinders can reinforce yeah, them. Looks, I think the Pathfinders are just going to grab it, um, which, is, which is fine. So yeah, Pathfinders won't secure that one, nice. so they'll probably just, just mass retreat off that. That's fine as well. Uh, yeah, good victory for, for the allies. They do uh, give up the play they were making in the center to find that capture, but I think it's worth it to grab the MG. Con's probably going to go down here. Uh, yeah, the last volley of the, uh, the Pigrens in close range could be enough. At that much health, a grenade could probably just kill the half right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, a rifle nade would do it. Um. Kosho doesn't have a lot of stuff. He's got 29 pop cap and he's floating off. Should be spending that. I mean, going to go guards or. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Much appreciated. It's a good map for the ISU. 
Yeah, a little bit late. Um, the standard manpower float you do see if you if you see kind of double special squads could could certainly be a second squad of guards coming out for you. Oh, sure, Scott. Double fuel now for the Axis. So, Festung Armor, man, I have not seen that commander used in yeah. a long time. That was like one of the original commanders. Um, well, and, uh, it's good because uh, uh, we, you've ended, is that a, that's a one click, isn't it? On um, on guard. Railway. Oh no, on uh, Kotros. That's a he's got a one click before the uh, the ICU, the bombing strike. Oh yeah, the IL two. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be able to deal with the uh, the pack. Um, the packs are pretty good on Moscow. There's um, they, they give you really good control over the center, which, which um, kind of mid to late game becomes quite important. There's a lot of fighting over that central victory point, so the pack gives you a lot of control there. So it's nice that that counter is going to be available for our allies if they have up munitions. Yeah, you can do some crazy stuff like you could use the hull down on like an Ostwind. Mm. You get insane range, and then if someone tries to dive after the Ostwind. You have the pack 43 covering it. Oh, oh good nice grenade. Game. That hold down's actually pretty good now. The enemy is taking up. We have casualties. This is the P grand. He's gonna lose his half track the, too. He's gonna definitely lose the pack, yeah. And once again, he can just reinforce it once he caps it with the engineers. That being said, he's getting close to the base. Oh, not killing it. There we go. Yeah. That's we probably still capable. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna go for it. Uh. Nice play. Pack gets captured. I think there's a couple of plays there, but there's, there's just, the problem is there's like there's there's no oh. there's no there was no follow up. Ah, oh, okay, that was the play. The play was going to be following these grins up to try and deny the recap, which is why we didn't see him stop micro that for a shot onto the clown car. Nice. Yeah, Tom K's lost a fair bit of stuff now, man. It's, it's too much squads going down. Can really afford that. Still has the Stuart M20 on the flank. Gonna pack out his firing. So he used the. Uh, that ability to get the paratroopers is for Pakawi as well. Oh, that must mean why he called in that the beacon. Empire will be forced to mass retreat. M6 oh, no. is Vermin's one. Surely you run those down, yeah? Like, yeah, right. Surely. Intercept that MG. No, it's only no, a Grenadier it's squad. Not. Yeah, okay. Focus the Grins! Yeah, there it is. Nice. Oh, the bunker's upgrading as well. But the, the M20 can deny that too, the, right? Like, really easily. So, well, the M20. No wipes. I mean, I guess he has the bazooka on yeah. the crew. Yeah. But right? he has the pack out to blow it up anyway. Uh, okay, alright, yeah, that's good. That's good. The, the, the pack outs are all be fine. So let's just let the MG upgrade finish. It's essentially going to end up being wasted munitions. Yeah, and, well, a good mortar. You can also get the bazookas on those paratroopers. A little bit of a late retreat coming in. We'll lose a few models, but not going to matter too much as the pack out to start firing. Still enough units here, I think, to provide a. Uh, Defensive barrier to stop that pack from getting forced off. And I'm gonna push the Stuart forward because uh -oh. you know why not? Let's take a couple of shots. Um, pack's gonna hit though, and there's the uh, damage engine. He needs to go forwards, and no, he went backwards. Yeah, should have gone forwards there. That's a bit of a misplay, and we'll just stop instead. Try and ensure the destruction of the house and the, the MG bunker. Just to try and take that trade, and you know, the smartest of moves, knowing that there was a pack done on the field. I think the pack's the pack house is gonna take one more shot yet. Oh, he hit it just barely hit yeah. it. But now he's gonna dive after the pack out. So there's double Panzer IV, oh, simultaneous gross. Panzer IV attack. Is there any armor from the the allies? There isn't. There's the pack wipe. Oh, well, that's this is now fine. There's also a stolen pack. Yeah, so that's gonna be rolling in. Should be helpful towards the middle. Gonna destroy the pack house. That seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, pack gonna be setting up in the middle as well. We're gonna have a collapse nice. down here from. Otro Sko. <laughs> From Skomo, Prime Minister of Australia. Yeah, yeah. Old Skomo, mate. You realise that's on his official Facebook and stuff? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skomo, yeah, yeah. yeah. Feels bad, man. Well, like Donald Trump may be uh, a lot of things, but at least he hasn't put, like, Donnie or something like that on, like, Donald Donny Trump or something on his Facebook page. There are, there are small mercies, I suppose, and... Maybe small mercies oh. for this M20. Oh, no. Oops. Oopsie. That's that's a miss micro. No small mercies for you, sir. Dropped a bazooka as well. So th this Panzer IV timing has been a pretty big comeback for the Axis. Mm. Still a little bit behind in, in Popcap, but definitely a mistake uh, not having any 
any armor in response to match that. Like, there could have been a Sherman at the moment. I think there's a Major, isn't there? Yeah. Oh no, did he go both tiers? How, how does he not have a Major? Could have been Zooks, could have been something, I don't know. So, did he drop in that pack out, sir? Yeah, he went both Captain and Lieutenant. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, because this ability, you get the you get a paratroopers with it, so... You kind of, even if you don't really want the <laughs> pack out, so you're Take like, oh, anyway. I want some paras. Yeah. We'll reinforcing some special cool. bonus deal, so... Deluxe combo meal. Would you like that in a meal or by itself? Oh, we hit the mine, the M20 mine. Is that immobilizing it? Jeez. Yeah. He has the paratroopers with the zook, so he should just... Yeah, there we go. This is going to finish this up as well. and uh, Could be double double zooks probably worth on the paratroopers, I like, guess. Yeah. Oh, no, he's already got double zooks, of course. Yeah, he can get double zooks. Double yeah, I think... You yeah. can never tell. They also get, like, bonus penetration slash accuracy or something. Mm -hmm. Same with rangers. When you give them bazookas, they get, like, better bazookas than riflemen. Still that spare zook, I think, down on the ground in the bottom left where the M20 died, so... I was probably grab that at some point. Looking like solid map control. 146 VPs for the Allies. We're at 325 of the Axis. We're heading up towards Tiger Tanks with Tech. Potential packs as well. Yeah, Lightning was good having that strafing run on this map. Tiger's always good, especially Tiger's supported by Pack 43s. I hope we actually see the Pack 43. But then again. Then again, bombing strike. I don't know if this cluster bombs, cluster bombs will wipe it. Yeah. It's a pretty crazy ability. You'd think though. it'd wipe the crew, right? Wouldn't you? Like, yeah. Yeah, it'd kill the crew, but if you just recruise it, then it's not a big deal. Yeah. But he has actually a lot of borders. He pathfinders. Double pathfinder buff. Wow, five percent extra sight range. Okay. Panzer command tank. Decent addition. Opt for that over. Must. Anything else? Must have. Oh, and I was gonna say he must have lost his Panzer IV. What happened? I oh, know. Of course, then I realised that he drove over an M20 mine. Was that red smoke? No. Negative. It's just. I think I saw the Panzer fall through the trees and it has that, like, the occlusion. Yeah. So it's like, look, red things. Did someone steal the... Oh, the Pyro's got the bazooka. Oh, okay, nice. nice. Yeah, good. Oh, that yeah, must have been a bundle grenade there. Oh, let's go down. They also buffed the G43s on, on the P-Greens. They're a pretty strong squad. It's a good call. Like, actually making it a worthwhile upgrade, so... I'm pretty sure we used to BM players that went for yeah. 43 upgrades on P Grants from, from memory. Um, so the command tank's going to help out this engagement. Uh, there will be some zooks rolling in and smartly. The player's going to back out from this one. Pretty crappy retreat path, but there's not a lot there, so not fine. Yeah, we have a T34 being built. Oh, will that mine get blown up by something? We see it is in the middle of a more in time. Nice movement from the Panzer IV. In case we avoid the Zissar. Wow, the Pigrens don't go for the Zis gun. That's surprising. Oh, they go in the building. Steal the garrison. There's seven man conscript squads on the field now. Well, it's a telemine. Cluster mines. Good dodge though. Oh, yeah, almost well, gets them anyway. Wow. Yeah, that ability's nutty. Yeah, that had more range than I thought it did. He could have put it behind the church because oh, maybe he did put it behind the church. Probably yeah, it did. seems to be. Yeah, towards that back side of it at least. Because so, none of them yeah. really detonated yeah. in front of him. And, and still, yeah, I think as far back because I guess you want to cover both doors as well in case your opponent's late on the retreat. So, um, so it was as far backwards as you could go while also covering both exits of the church. So it seems like a fairly good position. Okay, I think we're going to see the ISU next up. Oh, it's 14 command points. Wow, okay. That's a lot more than Tiger. <laughs> wow, the Telemine yeah. blows up. Is there a follow-up here? There is no. Yeah, pack. I mean, there's a pack here, but it's like, uh, the Grens can't contest this. This is going to be the problem. The pack's probably going to get one shot off here. 
Yeah, we go. So there's the one, which is which is decent, but won't get a second unless he wants to die to conscripts. So uh, we'll at least force some repairs. Somehow there wasn't a med bunker until now. Are these cloaked? They're cloaked. Nice. They don't have any snares though. Increased damage and penetration with bazookas. Wow. All these binoculars still can't see cloak paratroopers. <laughs> you, you have one job, binocular man. Scout for anti tank. Tank support is here. Sherman yes. ready. At least succeeded in seeing the massive AT guns on the negative cover road. That's good. And the uh, man tank will survive this engagement back away. Saving up for Tom Kays' Tiger. Seems like a good plan. advantage the fact that T-34 is repairing to uh oh push forward and repairing combat. Oh lucky uh, miss. That half track half track has been uh, getting some experience from the shared bonus. Yeah, yeah. it's a little bit too far forward though even to be doing some forward reinforcing. Oh the conscript's still in the field. Pioneers can't wipe him with a minesweeper. The engineer is entirely incapable of merging the conscript as well. So. So that's elevation there. Yeah, yep. yep. We're trying to fire the Grens and using the recon uh, the mine drop. Wow, those Grens are in front of it. They have to keep uh, moving forward. The Pioneers though are in trouble. Pioneers! Okay. Oh, they're okay. Good dodge. It's further back than I thought. The uh, MG was, survived was, it too. That was really well read, I suppose, from... Hot close. Made to realise it's not the ideal fight for him. And <laughs> these uh, these AT guns haven't really found a lot of success. Whoa! Um, or a good angle into this command tank has been playing very safe. Running the gauntlet of uh, anti-tank weapons. Yeah. The Faust did what? The Faust bugged out. Lol. The Faust did not. Panzer Faust brought you dishonor. Panzer Faust will bring you dishonor. <laughs> Shame for the boy. Man, that would have been a dead Sherman because there were a Cannot lot of stuff kill there. Sherman. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, and there's a Panzer four up here. This is yeah, too much infantry to be a winning engagement. This is not going to be enough support. Your mum's even with this MG. Oh my god. Gonna head on. Uh, Grenadiers get away. Flanking with the T thirty four, looking for a wipe on the Grens, perhaps. Nope, just oh, to trade. I thought it was like a sick hold fire mode or something and then like target down the grin so I didn't fire at a tank or something, but yeah. Wounded Sherman's going for the P4, but there's actually another P4 and he has the command tank buff. Looking for the cutoff, but all he's gonna find is death. And also cut off. And also not death. Oh wait, he didn't get it. I was no, gonna say not. this Panzer 4 shield may beg to disagree, but. I knew it. I was away. You're you're all over it. Never doubt you for a second. Okay. Central victory point, though. Uh, importantly, still in the hands of our allies. 269 MPs down the axis. I mean, the the center has been quite important, and uh, Kocho has been pivotal in that role, and has been really, really focusing here. Just support weapons and forward reinforce, and guards in good positions. So. Now the tigers. Just hitting the field now. Yeah. I wonder if he can in, he can hold down his teammates. Mm. Um, Tiger, that'd be pretty sick. That'd, you get be, crazy that'd be pretty troll. You wait until it's getting dived by the yeah. more than hold it down. <laughs> you could like grief yeah. with it, do yeah. it, to prevent them from moving. Some good grief. I don't know. I'm guessing it has to stay still for it to work. Unless they're not looking though. Like they're the back of the base of reinforcing. They come back and it's like, damn it. But there's also just like it. You can also just drive out of it. But anyway. They had to stop. They had to like change a bunch of League of Legends abilities that did similar things like that. Of course they did. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Uh, like stuff like like you would uh that wouldn't let you back. Like like you would be like in the middle of backing and they would like use an ability on you or something and then you would just stop you backing. So yeah, there was there was a bunch of other like, weird stuff. Or like a Nami bubble? Wouldn't so. that prevent re recall? Well, no, because like uh, because you no, know, it doesn't CC your teammates. Right. Um, okay. Like, you can't CC your teammates, but yeah, um, there were like there were certain abilities that would just like stop you recalling and do other other random like that. So. 
Well, it's an ability where, like, there technically would be utility to that, right? Yeah. Because it does it make you damage immune when you're. You know, it doesn't matter. No, when you see it, but yeah, you're, you th you're thinking along the game design like lines, Callum. Yeah, no, yeah, I appreciate that, but no, it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, those Pathfinders are doing so much damage. The Vet 2 Pioneer is going to go down. They have bars as well, so these are very powerful squads. Yeah, that's big damage. Um, those players successfully pick up a weapon of some kind, and, and this is the first chance that our Axes have had to take an engagement in the middle, and it's not going well. They didn't scout out the support weapon placement prior to taking the engagement, and it leads itself to a very bad one. Yeah, that tiger got really low because there was the, the AP ammo on the AT gun, so he just ate that tiger down. Uh, there wasn't... Uh, uh, the, the Pioneers also died too, so less re repairs. It's unfortunate. And there's a Jackson now being built, so... The Axis didn't really do anything with that timing of the tiger. Maybe gone for the, the right flank would have would have been better there, avoided those AT guns. Yeah, it could have been good. Um, maybe thinking they could just take that back once they've taken the middle, but it just, yeah, didn't work out well. Yeah, there, there was no prior scouting on the, on the sport weapon placement or anything that was there. And probably should have been. Sort of a dive going on? Cool. On yes, there is. Yeah. Mark Target's been deployed. The P4 oh, gets taken out. Oi. Good catch. Nice but, penetration. Okay, here comes the angry tiger. Yikes, man! That was the uh, the front mounted MGs. That was nutty. Um, yeah, those MGs are good. I can't get a swag ram. No, just death. We'd have to turn around. It probably wouldn't work. Pretty worthwhile trade. Um, Pick thirty four for the uh, Panzer four. It's pretty nice. It's also delayed the uh, the repairs on that tiger. Solid play. Wait, why is the mark target in the air still? The tank died. So you think he should just go home? He's like, you know what? I've done my my duty to the to motherland. I'm gonna just catch his now. I wonder how that conversation goes over right there. Hey man, is this a tank here? Yeah, yeah, that's a tank. Shoot that. Keep shooting the tank. The one I'm pointing at. Can't you yeah, see it? Is that a tank? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a tank, man. Go on the barrel on it. Yeah, yeah, no, same. No, not that tank. Right that tank. Yeah. Not the big one, the small one. Oh. the tractor. No, oh, damaged no. engine here. Pack not quite within range. Wow, max range. Guards this could shot. do this. This shot could Another do this. PTRS shot. could do this. Oh. PTRS can do this. If the guards chase, okay, well, that, that's worth it to lose a guard squad. Is he chasing with it? Jackson's not. Uh, cons. The grenade's on cooldown because that's what got the damaged engine. Yeah, the guards so the, can chase. The tiger gets back to base here. Yeah. Anyway, yes, walking it back to safety with the, the pyos is nice, but okay, he breathes a sigh of relief and uh, loses concentration. It does drop the pack, so he's gonna have to reinforce that one. Of our allies can hold this position. They should blow it up though. Look at that Zis gun, if that's still available. What? I like the move with the half track, but it doesn't prevent it in time. If the Grens were suppressed, they can't capture it. Yeah. Couldn't quite finish it off with the stuff either. It was the right idea. Grens go down regardless though. And, uh, not a lot of pop cap all of a sudden, but Tomoka is down to 54. With a 77, 77, 96 of our other players. Well, the guards are wanting to nade this from. Nope, just use DPs. Okay. This is barraging. Whoa, what's firing at this thing? Pack. Okay, and the Jacksons arrived. Oh, down go the guards! Nice, good wipe. Needed that counter wipe. One hundred percent. People's gonna die. Oh, uh, maybe. Uh, nice smoke. Times out one of the Jackson shots, and that'll be a Faust as well. Yeah, nice. Too good. Solid evasion from Mum's pies. That was good. Very nice. One hundred thirty-four VPs now, though, for our axis. So things are getting a little dicey. Um, we're gonna have to start taking back control. Hold the, the north more consistently. They need to chuck an MG or at least a, a holding squad up there. Something that doesn't lose at long range to guards. And that's what we've, we've seen our, our allies just throw that up, throw a, like a guard squad up there. Um, they've just been taking that BP for free all the time. That's why we see such a bad BP situation. Keeping the AA half track alive will really help because there's lightning war. Mm. Actually, he uses relief infantry. Okay, so maybe he realizes that the uh, that, that half is going to be a problem for those, those skill planes and goes for the Ostrippen instead. The 
decides to not go for the ISU, goes for another T34. Tiger's committing to this one. Finds a pretty good flank. Taking out this half track's a fairly big deal. Gets a rear army hit, needs one more. Is this gun just not dying? Needs to overcharge, didn't overdrive that one for the extra uh, uh, evasion chance, and plus that speed boost. Loses that one, opens up the close air support. This takes the. Whoa! Interesting. Uh, this takes the suicide bomber approach, but uh, and, uh, does fall here. The, the pioneers take this gun could be helpful, especially oh, after nice. the packs having gone down. Still, people on the left hand side could be focused. Smoke coming down just in time. Jackson's is going to be pushing the smoke now, though there is the potential for Faust to be shot through the smoke. The division coming through from the airborne now, but the Jackson has backed up, and I think we'll leave the P4. Yeah, Jackson's devices. very timid. Yeah. Why is he backing off? Yeah. Well, all these squads yeah. are forced off. Yeah. The, yeah, the bazookas are all had to retreat. The tigers over there. I mean, if it, if it was a wolverine, I would have been mad if it didn't yeah. die. But uh, no, it's, it's yeah, it is it is a very cool, calm, collected play from Bermans. So I think that they could have pushed the advantage there a bit. Um, at least push the smoke would have been good because I think worst case scenario is you get that last shot off and then you get fousted by the Grens. And it just depends, I guess, on how much support you think is there. But you know, there's no tanks that can contest that position. So, did he just lose that P4? I'm unsure, because there must have recently died. There was an AT gun there. So meanwhile, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Well, IR Pathfinder Barrage, very precise. Yeah. Hopefully, for him, it won't blow up the MG. It won't, so the Echelon can capture that one. Maybe that's the new strat. You build the Pathfinders really early, and your your opponent forgets that they're not just a combat squad, and you get blown up by artillery. Uh, no, nothing's going to like capture a, it. Seems like a big play. Yeah, I mean, he's max pop cap, so can't currently right. No, well, he can capture it. Can he? Can't he? Reinforce okay, he can, it. he can capture it. Yeah. That's true. Oh, he's going to get restolen, reclaimed. He <laughs> used to fake, fake decoy, decoy barrage. Okay. Oh, did the AT gun just blow it up then? I think it must have. Ah, uh, yeah, something blew it up. Um, I'm guessing it was an AT gun. I'm sure was one of those grenade. pathfinders will, will claim it was his rifle shot that got it. I think it was. Okay, the Jackson gets recruited now. ISU uh, must have been just yeah. ISU just been deployed. Oh, loses the Sherman there. <laughs> I was gonna say, this seems like a waste of health, and then the Tiger in the pack actually managed to take something out. Yeah, the refacing is gonna be really important here. The T34 keeps going, it has the rear armor, this refacing, pack refacing, main gun destroyed! Oh, the Jackson misses, still the marked target is on. Didn't get a swag ram before he died, but the Jackson's on the hunt, misses the oh. shot! If he gets one more shot, it should be a dead tank. Gonna need to use the whole fire here to avoid shooting at the P4. Oh, oh the Jackson! Lordy. What a massive swing. Um, and that was a, a much more unsafe dive than the earlier opportunity that we saw into those tanks. So, uh, yeah, yeah, great comeback for Axis. That's good. They're down to 95 VPs, but uh, take down a, a Sherman and a Jackson. Solid. High risk, high reward didn't pay off. And has that Vet 2 Tiger alive. And the Vet 2 on the heavy tanks is pretty silly now. Because you get increased accuracy and uh, the range too, geez. And in, in the latest patch... The Tigers, all heavy tanks, they're just so consistent against infantry. Mm. So they just never miss. And then they're just too short infantry, like, all the time. Um, especially on the Pershing IS-2, it's pretty nuts. IS-2 now completely. So. Ooh. He is on AP ammo, so this P4 is in some trouble. Good. Seems like a worthwhile opportunity to chase this one. Is he just having none? What's he doing? He's firing at the MG with uh, AP ammo on. Interesting. While the P4 gets away. He mustn't realize he's on AP. What's the default at the moment? Uh, I don't know actually. Yeah, it must be AP ammo. Well, he has three kills, but anyway. Yeah, you would hope the default is AP. I don't think it's terrible. It's sort of like... Oh uh, no, you can't recap it because the P Gren's good. Movement. Oh, I'm gonna lose the echelon. Doesn't mean watch. Trouble with splitting your forces up. We've got a flank <laughs> down the bottom left as well. So man taking the P4 coming in. Nice. Let's find an M1. That's a good snipe. Seems as though the AT of them say like, always out of position. Just wait a little bit. Oh, and now he's direction. swapping to the HG. Pigrin's got to be careful though. Double packs, and they're both pretty low as well. You can just get rickety wrecked here. There's a lot of bouncing going on. I see people just uh, back off and 
You know, the T-34 which sucks a bit, I think. I mean, I don't know. I feel like you could have, could have tested that a bit hard. Okay, now he's on he's on HE for this Tiger. That being said, though, he takes a lot of damage from this Vet 2 pack. He hasn't swapped back yet. He's marked targeted, though. Nice reface. Pack may get one shot off. It does, but it bounces. Dangerous red smoke coming down. They could get past. Whoa, yeah, the Artie on the AT guns gets the HMG. Was the IR Pathfinder's Artie? Whoa. No success in the pack guns though. Jackson's looking for a dive. There is a telemine on the road. Both the AT guns survived, but only a sliver of health. Actually, really good positioning here. Oh. Uh, off to the side. Jackson's going to be facing up. We'll get one shot. Oh here, man. But needs at least two. Oh, the telemine. Oh, beautiful play. I love how the out of control works. <laughs> it's like a little bumper ride, how it goes backwards and then suddenly goes, goes forwards, forwards again. again at max, max speed, yeah. No acceleration needed. Um, beautiful play by, by Tom McKay's. Awesome positioning, repositioning of those AT guns. They were perfectly safe and uh, and good baiting with the Tiger as well on, on half health. That was It was just tantalizing enough to, for Vermin Slayer to try and go for it. Tantalizing? Tantalizing, my dude, yeah, it was tantalizing. It's just like, it's it's because you're like, you're a little bit behind and you lost your first Jackson. You feel like you have to make something up. So you force your opponent into a, into a mistake like that. It's the, uh, it's the right timing to do that. All the veterans, he stays alive now. Got to abuse the tilt color. So there's a lot of armor. Not quite a lot of Shreks at the moment though. Might be worth going for some Shreks. Yeah, to, Shreks would be handy. To kind of toggle... Fourth the to toggles. I think that mainly stems from a lot of smoke going down, plus the uh, armies of the grenadiers. But I think mainly the lot of smoke. But I guess a price I'm certainly willing to pay for to keep my tanks alive. <laughs> so we haven't seen much of this commander, have we? We've seen obviously no. a lot of the, the, the P4 and the hull and the smoke. No, that's about it, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. there. Oh, look at that. Cast its curse. Hey. Locking down this P4. What does it actually do? I don't think it even says what it does exactly. Uh, increasing defense and damage. I suppose it increased range, unless they change that. And that looks pretty. I seem to think it did originally. Did it not? Defense. I mean, I bet you that torch is wrong. Okay, he's using the, the Arty Barrage. You can just move out of this, though. Well, that being said, though, may even kill it. Oh! Hey, close. He stunned it too, but it kept yeah. moving. Is there a follow-up? It's under crew shot. Yeah, no, no, it gets away from that one. Looking for the guards. Oh, but the suppression, suppression. from that MG. Uh, Pete Harris, one volley, but they're not going to be able to get set up in time. So, yeah, nice fight. Okay, ISU's being dived by this... Uh, the Tiger. Double packs are also firing. It's going down so quickly. Poor health, Tiger. This is Pointing. Meanwhile, it manages to take the time ah. to shoot at a Pigrin squad in between that fight. Ouch. Yeah, that thing was super out of position. There's just no coverage in terms of movement on the right hand side of the map. The target just gets free reign. But with the ISU, there were no supporting mines. There's pretty big issues. Really glaring holes in the defense of our allies here. Maybe we try to play it out on BP 66 down for our axis. Yeah, and I think they were distracted by that dive on the left side, yeah. trying to dive after the the wounded P4 that they, that they weren't watching it get flanked, just like we weren't. There's just so much Axis armor now, there's Animal many a P4. A Tiger. There's just the range of armor, there's a Panther on the field as well, it makes it very difficult to deal with. Plenty of AT. Losing support weapons now as well. Oh man, this is a huge swing. <laughs> AT gun's gonna be firing. I don't know if this has come back up, honestly. Like, this Tiger needs to die. It's gonna be come back. Oh, that AT gun is really low. Looks super dead to me. Um, it's not gonna reface though, and we might actually have the people path inside. Yeah, it's in this range, dude. It must be in this range. Whoa, okay, Jackson's arrived. Yeah, damage, here we go. Oh, but there's, there's two AT guns no, no, here. No, 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 that's the jump. Target weak point <laughs> is available. Yes. He gets it. Skirts the dark for now. Good. Was there another T-34 that just died? Oh, that was, that was, that was the people all going out of control. So. Good job, Jackson. Uh, this one is successful. You, uh, Ooh, you keep your team in the game. Oh, Very no. Nice. Oh, big plays, though. It gets out of the oh. arc, but it's still not not <laughs> safe. He actually evacs it. Okay. I'm getting too keen for my headphones. I just broke your headset. Yeah, it's good. 
Those headsets right. are worth more to the motherland than your life. Real, real, real esports casters throw their headsets in excitement, so. It's true, um, yeah. I, e I swear ready. I saw Freak do it one time, so. Dude, this patch, now now it's esports ready. Like, yeah. people were memeing that it wasn't esports ready, now it's esports ready. I actually like feel the excitement of my headset throw, that was pretty intense. Ah. So they removed Deep Snow this patch, so now it's esports ready. <laughs> No more deep snow. This was ready. Um, no, no, that, that, because that was all I needed to do. Like once you remove deep snow, then it was esports ready. Okay, reclaiming the support weapon. Oh no, that was that one hasn't died. Never mind. But was there any tanks that died? Oh, was that the command people must have died? Yeah. Wait. So, no, 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 no. Nothing command died. Command people's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it was it was just the Panzer four. Just that went one went down. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. I don't think anything else went down. Maybe a squad. Um, but yeah, I think it was just, just, really just the Panzer IV. Um, what's that on the other side of the church? Is that an MG? It's just, just chilling still? That not, hasn't been, hasn't been captured down a bit? Oh, uh... I just want to know what the weapon was. MG42. So. Okay, yeah, okay. That could be worth grabbing. There's a caddy being built, but now Tomokes has the close air support available. No sign of any AA half-track. The Mark vehicle will really help, though. Yeah. I just don't really seem to want to push the envelope. Maybe they will after they get the reinforcing done, but all the all the fights thus far have been skirmishes aimed towards units rather than that central victory point. Um, the sides have been held fairly consistently by Axis because of the pressure they put on, but they haven't really made a play for the central VP in a way where they want to keep it. Oh, the cloaked power is... He already used the, the Blitzkrieg, but it, he also has smoke as well. Good attack round. VPs are ticking against the Axis, mm. despite having this armor superiority, they weren't able to prevent VPs being drained. Yeah, 50 now, they will be recapped in the bottom left. Yeah, I'd say 50 VPs certainly makes it tempting for our allies to, to play this one out on VPs. Oh, rifle grenade, nice. It's a caddy from Kocho, which is, you know, that could speak either way. It's like, I could be playing long term for wipes, or I could be playing short term for my caps. I don't really know much from that in terms of how I actually want to play this one. Big flanks. Big flanks. Big flanks. SU is taking damage. They could go for an attack here. Because two in on the spot to avoid getting hit. Conscript's gonna die to this, the Zis barrage. Nope, they retreat. Running past the P4. Enemy forces are attempting to capture our territory. I hear Jackson shooting at something. Where is it? There's the oh, no, barrage what? as well. Okay, where's that firing? Oh, the AT guns, well, I both AT guns. Yeah, what a lucky barrage. Wait, what? I don't know where this P4 is going. It's a bit flank. It only has three kills. Maybe what's, snipe what's the ambo. The SU is even this gun, caddy. There's so many things that he could kill. Yeah. Jackson missed? Oh my bailing god. Bailing is the right call here. Well, if he trades a one for one, he has <laughs> enough resources. What the? He's, he's gonna trade it. He's literally gonna take. Oh no, oh. he just might. The P4, like. Down it goes. Yeah. Okay. Um, they gun destroyed. But the, uh, the wreck of the SU is still there as well. VP's in the he hands of the Axis. He's abandoned the thing. Um, I'm just gonna have to oh. try and kill that. Oh dear. P4 tags are mine. It's taken out by the Jackson. Oh, and now they're committing to this one. Is it the Jackson is in the base? There's two Jacksons. Couldn't snipe the caddy. Oh man. Now, why are Axis playing like this? This is so dangerous. Oh no! Oh no! Everything's dying. This Jackson timing from Demon Slayer is nutty. Oh, another it could be dead P4 here. That has Mark target available. The Panthers also here. Down it goes. Stay in range. Lordy, this Tag is team good. Jacksons. This P4 is uh, the Panthers, pretty strong, but the Jacksons have done their job. They just got to finish off these. Uh, yeah, maybe even capture it. Uh, let's see. SU85 is still alive as well, so that can be repaired and captured. There's a, there's a lot of armor on the field here. For our allies to grab pretty much for free. Uh, still a lot of infantry for our Axis. I'd say they have the advantage there. So potentially pushing some units down to either cap or at least control the wrecks could be good. 46 VPs. I want our axis is stalled out on. Our allies still with about 270 to play with. Hmm. Well, the allies got Rex, but the axis got Rex. 
So, hidden care. So. Still plenty of VPs for the allies, so they're in no rush here. I don't know what this play is, though. Combat engineers are standing by. The how repair do you play, but... Getting a lot of information. Second, Caddy oh, Barrage. Caddy Barrage for the that was probably it. These pioneers need to retreat. Pretty bad oh, scatter. That's a dangerous game. Oh, that yeah, was a good like rocket. You deserve that. Yeah, that one yeah. rocket here of the people. And now he's, he's mining this far, uh, the, the pack. Which somehow survives. No, there it goes. No, no, no. Oh, okay, going for the wreck. Can you imagine if you, you, if you bombed a pack and it didn't move and it survived? So, that's a big uninstall moment. Like when you light Artie Bride or something and yeah, just every yeah, shield yeah. goes around it and misses. Well, the SU is being repaired. So that's one tank destroyer. One extra tank destroyer, because they'll have the two Jacksons still, yep. I believe. I haven't seen one of those go down yet. They have been repaired now. Allies potentially prepared for a little foray. Well, I think there's, there's probably still too much. Still, there is a vet. The Vet 3 Tiger has 50 kills. One more and it'll be a big 5-0. 50 bomb, as we say, in the Counter-Strike thing, which I definitely do all the time. Yes! The, the Counter-Strike thing is Mr. McKizzle. Uh, Whoa, what are you doing, bro? Yeah, look, I mean... Okay, the Tiger's being dived. Oh, that's a P4. Right. Main gun has been destroyed and the Vexus will dive after that at the same time. Sneaky boy tank will sneak Oh, another abandon. Uh, a two sure, and yes, I love abandons as well. Okay, here comes the P4. Where is the. Ah, oh, and the Panthers are rolling it as well. It's trying to put pressure onto this Jackson. They know there's something in the base. Will we find the Kadusha though? Oh my like god. Carnage all over the place. The P4 trying to take off the AT gun and the SU from the front. P4 didn't exactly do much in the main base. You fight at the tier three. Yeah. The tiger survived and is now being repaired. I think, so yeah. realizing that the caddy was in a more offensive position than a than a defensive one didn't become worth it. That's a very close range barrage. That could be a white second volley. Be close. Um, we'll probably get nothing. Wow, there's no grenade tech, so we can't use smokes to cap the VP. Still two AT guns there to be crewed. So 66 VPs now for our allies. It's even close. Oh man. This panther is not safe against the paras. The VPs are getting close to the allies. Oh no! Oh, the panther is taking so much damage. It's a good route it's taking. Going along the road now, past the tree, there'll be two more zook. Yes. Okay, one more zook chuck. Um, so we'll desperately need repairs, but at least survives for now. Now oh, the tellers here. No tellers, but there is a pack. The allies have potentially seen control of the left hand VP with our allies. We're going to take this one. Damage yeah, engine. Man, this infantry is pushed too far forward. Like, this could have been capturing this victory point, huh. but instead the infantry is all chasing. Okay, nice merge, but the squad's low anyway. Loses the Jackson. That and... one. Another abandon. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Yeah. That's like the fourth abandon this game. Yeah, there are a lot of, uh, bloody units jumping in and out of tanks. Even the packs are being abandoned. Capturing though is probably not the best call for our allies, they got plenty of AT. Our Would be an overcommitment going for those. Just a, a drain on population cap. Okay, this is kind of weird diving with it at people. It doesn't even have full health. It wasn't even full health. And the, the, the tiger isn't there for a follow up. So it just throws the P4 away. If he gets the SU, it might be okay, but there's plenty of stuff here. Another damaged engine. You also had already used button. Okay. Uh. Doesn't the SU, so that was just a really bad play. Yeah, Tom McKay is just refusing to trade that one as well. It doesn't go in with the uh, Panzer Paul, probably. If he doesn't, lose it. It's game. He waited. He didn't wait until the Tiger was repaired. Oh, this is a really good play from our allies. They're sneaky boy capping it, man. Yeah, that's the middle. A... They're taking the left and they sneak cap the right. Triple cap at the moment. Caddy uh, doesn't connect, I don't think, there. We also have the railway. Where's the railway being used? I don't know where that, that's being... Oh, there it is, on this VP. Okay, this VP's been cleared. The Tiger is once again getting incredibly low, or it's about to be, it backs off. Both of those two squads are going to survive the uh, railway barrage. And 
So you want to access stabilize on. 24 VP, something that the deuce managed to stabilize. Get three eighty. It's gonna have to be the left VP. Yeah, okay. Then if the Pathfinders killed this squad, it's pretty much game. Oh, can they arty it? They can fake arty. They can fake arty. They should do it. Is but it I mean, work? he just doesn't move, right? I mean, he, does he have to move? Uh, well, he's trying to stall it. I think yeah. that was the plan. He actually well, gets one model. We'll get we'll get a couple of extra points out of this. Uh, I think this rip. is fine. If he doesn't lose the squad, that's fine. Um, I think he finds himself probably three extra points there. Well, that's like a gre Greyhound. Wow, okay. Just really wanted a light vehicle fast. See if he prevents it from being captured. He has the uh, canister round. Does he use that one? Probably just gun through the models at the stage. Didn't. Anyway. Okay, using the raid ability prevents it from being captured. Nice work. Someone's getting decapped. Top right's been retaken by our Axis. Oh, but there's, a, there's the Axis Jackson. Yeah, that's Because Abandon good. is... Is a mechanic that exists. And there's a mechanic oh, but he gets the cap. The game. Lieutenant just has to stay on this point now. Oh, the middle is is currently held by the allies. Yeah. Once it gets captured, there's about a minute left, man. Okay, there's Grens coming in, so they should be the saviors of the day. Um, I'm pretty sure they can one v one the left hand, especially with the Jackson here to help out. He must have the command buff. Yeah, he has the command Panzer buff. Jackson v Jackson battle, one of which is veteran two, so it's a little unfair. Let him be peace. But it buys time where the, the Jackson wasn't firing at the tank and didn't have smoke grenades. Couldn't stall that one with smoke. Gonna stall at 9 VPs now for our Axis. Dangerous game. Very close. I like how they actually repaint the side of the Jackson. Okay, bundle grenade. Whoa, the Maxim didn't get a suppression off in time. Personally, I like Yan Cats. Rainbows. Inside the mine. The VPs are getting low. Jackson's. Neutral at the moment. Now going towards the Axis. Big flank with these P4s. Oh, loses the P-Grens. We do have a Zis Barrage available. That the third world by exclusive that we've seen so far this game. Zis will be taking regular auto attacks. Captain taking a fair bit of damage. Third chop probably coming out from the Zis here. Yeah, it doesn't come through. One Panzer for low. One of them for health, apparently has bought enough time for the distraction force to come in and start capturing the central VP currently being counted by two shots. Okay, at the bottom, the P4 is back in here. There's no armor to kill it. Big tank dive in the center. Jackson and the Panther. Jackson SU this gun there in the back. Plenty of conscripts. There's a full saturation of anti-tank guns. We do see a tank go down, both of the tanks in fact, Panther and the P4. This one wants to join his fallen comrades and he's about to, but the pa other P4 goes in. Finally the Tiger joins the fight, but this is a killing zone. So much anti-tank. Guards are there, already used their button, as has the marked target already been used. Well, that's absolute insanity. Most medium tanks they're going down for our access was just too wide of a, of a coverage by the Allied AT. Oh, with the oh, tiger Lord. goes down. That was so oh. sloppy. There was not a consolidation of armor. It was like... Yeah, that was real sloppy. Okay, one P4 goes in. Now the next one. Now the next one. Now the next one. Now the tiger goes in. If, if all five of them were able to go simultaneously. Or even just a little better than that. Uh, it would have been too much. But then again, there was just so many anti-tank guns. Tank destroyers. Like, I don't even know if it would have mattered. Yeah. That's got to be GG now, right? I think you, <laughs> I think you just, you time your, uh, you time your medium tank pushes with uh, ISU shells, so you make sure that the ISU gets maximum value out. So you wait until it's reloaded, then you push with your next fans of four and let it shoot it. Oh, great. 75 points for our allies, but I think that might be all she wrote for uh, the access. Uh, still no grenades. Little unable to displace MGs, man. Who needs grenades when you have Greyhound? Greyhound nades. Whoa. Greyhound gotta be careful of the uh, AP ammo. Lovely heads up play from Bourbon Slayer sending this one to cap the, the top victory point. Oh, we didn't. Full realization this one might be stalled out. Nice work with the MG, keeping it to prevent sneaky caps. Fantastic. Tom K certainly learned his lesson the first couple of sneaky caps that came down on the top GP. Very nice. We have Fresh Panther. 
and a fresh tiger. Wow, oh. so the Axes actually had a, a decent amount of resources banked up. A bit of munitions as well. Okay, yeah, the Axis still have, yeah, a lot of stuff. So they almost threw uh, with that big engage. Uh -oh. I've seen worse uh, worse popcap comparisons though. This isn't too bad. I don't know if it's fine. Down the caddy, down it goes. Nice, good one shot. Smoke goes out, will prevent the six pounder from shooting, does break vision. Just in that annoying interval where you can't use an ability. One second before it's up cooldown. Hands of Earth uh, will be finished sometime. There we go. I should be... No, I didn't have to lose a model. It was just uh, taking a little bit longer to complete than I thought. Yeah, this, this combined assault on the VP could certainly fail. Um, our Axis could still take this one. It's MG's here. It's bet 2. It has the command tank buff. He uses AP ammo, it's going to be so strong. Jackson goes in, triple anti-tank gun. No hull down on the Panther. Nerf is in range. Okay, that's an Arty Barrage. Is that a railway? That's a railway strike oh, on the AT gun line. Suppression, in fact, a pin on those paratroopers. And a Vertha Barrage comes down. Doesn't quite tag the, the stolen packs. Double stolen packs. Uh, railway, no score just yet. But in meanwhile, the Axis are getting the center. Pretty nasty to turn for a triple cap. This is a huge investment from our Axis. The entire power is just died. Man, they're throwing the bones. It's been a bundle grenade. So the Axis still have the VPs. Railway continuing to fire. This this gun got to be careful. Could be a crazy crazy scatter. It's what railways do. Happens, man. Thirty VPs for our Axis, man. If this this turns around, oh, Ooh. that's a better sneaky cap. Yeah, because he has the raise. So he doesn't have to evac in front of the v the yeah. MG. And he can keep shooting as well. Now the Sherman can't cap though. Okay, close air supports the Greyhound. Yeah. Oh I my mean, right? god. AP ammo is popped, but it gets the D That's the play, anyway. right? Wait, he actually used he used the frag, the, the canister shot. So he's gonna have to use the vehicle crew. Yeah. He can't recap. Oh, he can recap the vehicle. Now. Oh, oh no! no! The vehicle crew was in front of the Greyhound and not behind it, uh. so it gets one shot by the Tiger. Infantry are on the point here. <laughs> Man, that's it! I bet you he wished he didn't waste the close S. Whoops, the yeah. close S support yeah, would be very useful needed, here. Yeah, I didn't need it on the bottom left now. That's the paratrooper? Yeah, the IR Pathfinder RT. MG goes down. So the allies may have this one. They might actually, yeah. I think that the cassette, the casket end up being important. The fact they've got blown. Verfa barrage too late. There's multiple squads here. Mr. Steals the MG. Doesn't even get a kill there. The, the tiger's going to the south. I think that's pretty clever. Too many AT guns in the, the middle. I guess it's gonna lose now though. But the pioneers can't get it. Five VPs. Yeah. Four VPs. That's allies. If only the allies didn't have double pack. Yeah, that would uh, that would help. <laughs> uh, disgusting. As the allies lose everything, the game just finishes. Yeah. Wow. Oof. Game man. See, so, yeah, they didn't have any recon commander. Definitely that engagement they lost like. Well, there was all the medium three, tanks went in one by one, yeah. Two, two Panzer IVs, a Panzer IV command tank, a Panther and a Tiger, like all that one fight. Yeah. Because they, they charged single file or like staggered their charge against a line of vetted anti-tank guns and tank destroyers. <laughs> like, ah! Yeah. Didn't go for the, the VP control. Um, yeah, that was rough. Also, no pack 43 rip. Mm. We did see a couple of railways that didn't do anything though. General Sherman also do not recommend you close air support right now. <laughs> Just so you know. Just so you know. For future reference. So I wouldn't want to lead any of you astray. Yeah, because he sent the tiger. Yeah. That was funny. Man, it was the right thought, but uh, yeah, fun. Mm, nice but, game. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the 2v2. Yeah, that was, a, that was an epic one. That was a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.